Good morning everyone. Welcome to this soft skill session. My name is Likit. Uh if my voice is audible, please mention audible. If at all my voice is audible, please type it in the chat section and mention as audible. Yes. So uh in today's session we will be learning about uh, verbal communication that the second part of it yesterday we learned few tips about how to uh, have a, a good verbal communication and what are the things that we need to keep in mind like the assertive communication pragmatic communication so and in uh, today's session we'll be seeing still more some of the important can uh, concepts uh, related to verbal communication okay thank you all for texting Uh, so that i'll be sure that my voice is audible thank you for that yes so now uh, so let's see what are the things that we will be learning today in this session and before i start my name is likit and i'm a soft skill trainer and uh, i for the past one week i have been training uh, for you guys in this soft skill topics and uh, uh so i hope everyone are safe at home so now uh, the concepts that we are going to learn today includes listening skills related to why listening is important why verbally we should be strong so that the other person listens properly and also we'll be learning about persuasive communication which is a part of a verbal communication and also phatic communication so these are the things that we will be learning for persuasive communication phatic communication also along with that we'll also be seeing why listening is a very important aspect uh, even in verbal communication okay so let's let's get uh, started and uh, so before i start there's one very interesting quote most people do not listen with the intent to understand they listen with the intent टू रिप्लाई ज़्यादातर लोग इसलिए सुनते हैं कि क्या रिप्लाई देना है वो ये नहीं अंडरस्टैंड करने के लिए नहीं सुनते तो ये जो एक कॉमन कोट है वी कैन रिलेट दिस वी हैव बीन इन दिस सिचुएशन मेनी टाइम एंड वेन एवर समन इज सेंग वील ऑलवेज थिंक ओके वॉट शुड आई से टू दिस पर्सन वॉट रिप्लाई शुड आई गिव टू दिस पर्सन वी डोंट अंडरस्टैंड एंड एंड लेट मी टेल यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड देन गिविंग रिप्लाई हैज लॉड ऑफ वैल्यूज रद दैन जस्ट यू नो थिंकिंग अबाउट वॉट टू रिप्लाई वी फेस दिस मैनी सिचुएशन ज़्यादातर हम कॉलेज में ये सिचुएशन फेस करते हैं जब कभी भी हम फैकल्टी के साथ बात करते हैं ज़्यादातर हम जो भी क्वेश्चन वो पूछते हैं हम ये सोचे अच्छा इसका रिप्लाई क्या दूँ इसका इस केस डायरेक्टली विदाउट इवन अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी जस्ट गो फॉर द रिप्लाई पार्ट सो दिस इज अ इंस्पिरेशनल कोट एंड लेट्स लर्न समथिंग फ्रॉम दिस एंड फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंटेंट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट द पर्सन इज एक्चुअली ट्राइंग टू टेल rather than thinking about what should i say next what is what should i say next and we all have faced a situation whenever we meet a new person whenever we meet a stranger jab kabhi hum kuch naye log ko milte hain usse baat chit karte hain to hum ye zyada tar socha cha kya next kya question puchu next kya puchu kya samjhega ye ye common questions hamare mann mein chalta ja raha hai you know it will run in our mind regularly right generally when we speak with the stranger so uh, let's let's get into one of the important aspect of this listening and uh, as usual i want you to uh, keep a pen and a paper in front of you uh, so that some of the points you can write it down which will be really helpful for you whenever uh, you want to you know uh, use them or whenever someone is asking you questions related to that you can actually say about it and it's always good to remember it all the time so i request you to uh, keep a pen and a paper or a book in front of you to write down some of the points maybe you can write down this quotes also most people do not the quote which says that most people do not listen with the intent to understand they listen with the intent to reply so this quote is something uh, which is actually inspiring so that whenever we talk to people we try to understand it more rather than trying to what to reply uh, thinking about what to reply okay so uh, let's let's uh, start with a very interesting uh, task which i'll be giving you now 
दिस टास्क रिक्वायर्स लॉट ऑफ अटेंशन आप बहुत अटेंशन दे के ये टास्क को कंप्लीट करना है आप सबको uh, मैं एक आपको एक कहानी सुनाऊंगा एक बहुत ही छोटा सा नॉर्मल कहानी आपने सुना होगा ये ऑलरेडी तो ये कहानी मैं आई विल टेल यू दिस स्टोरी यू हैव टू लिसन दिस स्टोरी कम्प्लीटली एंड उसके बाद में एंड में मैं एक क्वेश्चन पूछूंगा इस कहानी के ऊपर एंड यू हैव टू रिप्लाई दैट सो लेट मी टेल यू आई बी टेलिंग यू अ स्टोरी नाउ अ स्मॉल स्टोरी यू हैव टू कम्प्लीटली लिसन इट विथ अटेंशन यू हैव टू लिसन ईच एंड एवरी वर्ड बिकॉज एट द एंड ऑफ द स्टोरी आई विल बी आस्किंग यू वन क्वेश्चन एंड यू हैव टू से द करेक्ट आंसर लेट मी सी हू विल से द प्रॉपर आंसर फॉर दैट एंड द क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर story i'll be asking question as uh, how many times the word the t h e how many times the word the t h e will i be saying when i say this story okay so uh, this is one of the question that i'll be asking that is how many the t h e the i'll be saying in this story okay so you have to uh, count that the number of the is in the story so please pay attention to this story and i'll repeat once again the question you have to identify the number of the number of times the word the appears in this story the word the kitne time story mein aata hai wo aapko count karna hai dekhte hai kaun sahi uttar deta hai ek ye story ke end mein okay so i'm going to start the story now count the number of the in the story i might ask other question as well but the this is one of the question so here is a story the lion and the mouse kenny the lion lay asleep in the forest his great head resting on his paws a timid little mouse came upon him unexpectedly and in her fright and haste to get away ran across the lion's nose roused from his nap the lion laid his huge paw angrily on the tiny creature to kill penny spare me begged penny please let me go and some day i will surely repay you kenny was much amused to think that a mouse could ever help him but he was generous and finally let the mouse go some days later while stalking his prey in the forest of sarawak the lion was caught in the toils of a hunter's net unable to free himself he filled the forest with his angry roaring the mouse knew the voice and quickly found the lion struggling in the net running to one of the great ropes that bound him she gnawed it until it parted and soon the lion was free you laughed when i said i would repay you said the mouse now you see that even a mouse can help a lion a kindness is never wasted done so this is the story i hope everyone would have listened it carefully and also i think you would have also heard this story long back so this is a story and uh, here is a question for you the question is you have to tell me how many the how many times i repeated the word the so let me see uh, how many of them will be replying so you can reply it in the live chat section so let me see uh, how many of them were able to count the number of the so you can just type it out in the chat section live chat section how many times did you all uh, did i use the word the main kitne time the word the ko use kiya is story mein dekhte hai kaun sahi uttar deta hai okay acha 
very nice you guys are giving the answers uh very good to see the answers 17 18 15 25 okay 15 yes uh very nice to see the different answers that you give very nice very good actually the number of the that i have used in this entire story is 22 times 22 times so i'm sure like most of them have given the answer between that range some of them have said 20 25 so very good so that's the correct range so the i have used 22 times very good you guys are very good in listening and uh, some of the words when we say that you know we try to attach it with the word like um for example uh, if i use this uh, sentence as um, if i take a sentence like the lion laid so when i say the lion laid the the comes very fast in that so we might miss that um, so that is one of the word example okay so very good thank you for giving uh, the answers thank you for typing the answers so here one of the important uh, thing that you did was you were listening to it and here's a one more bonus question and this is what i am waiting for okay and here's a question on this story and the question is what is the name of the lion i mentioned this word in the story you have to tell me what is the name of the lion i have mentioned the name of the lion as well as in as well in this story maine lion ka naam bhi is story mein bola tha so uh, e jo naam hai lion ka naam kya hai let me see who will answer this what is the name of the lion okay So in this story, I mentioned the word. Yes, very good. Some of them are answering. Very nice. Very good. Okay. So here, if you observe, like most of them wouldn't have thought of it. What could be the answer? What is not the answer? Uh, no. Generally, we are we were concentrating more on the the number of letters the. that is because i particularly mentioned it yes exactly very good the correct answer is kenny i think uh, one uh, yes super very nice so few people have given the answer kenny and now many people are giving the answer kenny as well <laughs> okay very nice now um, so the word kenny is the correct answer here that is the name of the lion but i'm sure that not many of them would have observed it much because our concentration was towards a different aspect of the story since i mentioned it as the 20 uh, this uh, you have to count the number of the so this is what happens you know whenever we are con con talking to someone so whenever listening what others are saying if at all we are concentrating on one particular part of it we we might miss the important aspect of it और uh, जैसे मैंने बोला जब कभी हम बात करते हैं हम ये सोचते हैं कि अच्छा इसका रिप्लाई कैसे देना है तब हम रिप्लाई के बारे में सोचते हैं तो हम कुछ इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स को हम एक्चुअली वहाँ नोटिस नहीं कर पाएंगे इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स को इसलिए आपको हमेशा वेन एवर एनी वन इज टॉकिंग लिसन टू इट कम्प्लीटली लिसन टू इट एंड आई वॉन्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट दैट पर्सन इज सेंग देन यू कैन कंटिन्यू विद दैट ओके So that is uh, one of the technique that you can use whenever you are listening. Why it is very important? See, it is as important as you speak, especially when you are in an interview. जब आप इंटरव्यू में होते हो, जब आप इंटरव्यू देते हो, तब कुछ क्वेश्चन पूछा जाता है बेस्ड ऑन सम सिटुएशन कुछ सिटुएशन दे के कोई क्वेश्चन पूछेगा फॉर एग्जाम्पल वो ऐसे क्वेश्चन भी पूछ सकता है फॉर हेयर द क्वेश्चन एज फॉलोज द इंटरव्यूअर माइट आस्क suppose if you are the employee in an organization where you have to work till 11 o'clock and 11 o'clock and you need to uh leave the office after that and what will you do at night so this is what the question so jab ye question put aapko answer dena hai completely sunne ke baad okay the suppose that person meant at night at the end of the sentence so when he is telling the sentence at 11 o'clock in between itself oh yes sir yeah 11 o'clock i'll work if you just continue starting from the between of that instead of listening so that is also one of the 
bad aspect. So we need to listen completely, understand it. Okay, it's not morning, it's afternoon, so it's the end 11 o'clock. So this is how uh, we, uh, we can actually impress other person because you have been a good attentive listener. So it's very important to be a good listener along with a good speaker. So uh, I'm sure that everyone would have faced this situation where you someone would have some said some information to you and you would have understood it in a different way that is how misunderstanding uh, happens so uh, you might be in different situation maybe in college or maybe in an uh, 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 you know some company you would have visited or maybe in a family when you are in along with your family members one message someone would have told you and you would have understood in a different way we all can relate hum sab ne ye face kiye honge hum kuch aur hi samajh lete kuch information ko ye reason ye hota hai ki hum theek se listen nahi karte use concentrate understand nahi karte so this is an example of uh, one of the bad listening that we don't understand it so from today onwards let's take this uh, let's let's decide you know that whoever is saying something to us let's listen it completely and after that let me reply it don't in uh, get in between unless it is very important it's very very important if you don't get in between uh, the person might misunderstand unless in that situation in regular conversation let's try to listen more and more and more and after once you listen after that we'll reply so because organization needs people who are good listeners okay so saying this let's let's get move forward to the next very important and interesting part and that is about the persuasive communication persuasive communication the actual meaning of persuasive what is this persuasive what is persuasion so that is one of the uh what term that we need to understand it is something like where you uh make uh, another person to believe you but through your words or through your actions so kuch uh, aap dusron ko prerak karte hai you know apne jo apna jo baat hai wo believe karne ke liye wo hota hai persuasive persuasion kehte hai use examples agar do to uh, marketers kuch log aate sales person वो जब आप आपके घर में आते हैं तो आपको बहुत सारे इम्पॉर्टेंट इन्फॉर्मेशन देते हैं ताकि आप यू नो बिलीव करें वो सही है और वो आप खरीद सके एडवर्टाइजमेंट टीवी एडवर्टाइजमेंट्स वो भी एक तरीके के कम्युनिकेशन होते हैं जहाँ पे वो हम ऐसे बोलते हैं ताकि हम उसे खरीदें सो दैट इज़ अ काइंड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन दैट विच इन्वॉल्व लॉड ऑफ अटेंशन वेर दे ट्राई टू अट्रैक्ट पीपल एंड make us to buy the product okay so i'm sure that everyone would have faced a situation where you completely believed a person or you completely believed on a product and you would have bought that right by seeing an advertisement or by you know uh, even meeting some people some people would be selling some uh, gifts items or something which is more attractive so you we all would have got into that trap just because the way that person has spoken just because the way that person told about the product he would have told you in such a way that you felt like as if you are using that product so this is a kind of a communication which is very important in this present world but there are certain limits for it also if you are having this ability of persuasive communication you have a little more chance of growing in the organization because whatever you are saying people are believing you and there is a certain level to it also usme ek level bhi hai aap chhoot bol ke dusron ko convince nahi karna hai aapko ethically ek rule ke anusar hi communicate bhi karna hai so ye hota hai persuasive communication if at all you have faced this situation of believing a person believing about the product just because someone has said about you if at all you have been in that position you can type yes and uh, you can also type the product that you have fa- you know where where we where you fell for that product and you just bought it just because someone has said about you someone would have told you in such a way that you have you know that you have bought it so if such case is there you can also mention it in the chat section that what is that where, where did i 
uh, fall for uh, you know particular product just because of the presentation given by that person or the salesperson or maybe you can also say about the tv the ad that you saw and you got so much inspired on when receiving the ad that you bought the product and then felt okay this is what it is but it might not be the same thing also whatever has been shown in the ad so you can also mention that in the chat section so if at all you have faced this situation where uh, ek situation jahan pe uh, aapne kuch products kharida honge kharide honge dukan se ya kuch online shopping se ya tv tv uh, you know tv shopping se uh, sirf yahi uh, jo aapko bech raha tha wo uske words ke through aap inspire ho ke aap uh, product buy kiye aisa kuch situation agar aapne face kiya ho to aap uh, yes so people as like It's good to see that many people are saying yes that they have faced this situation uh yes so we have all faced this situation and that is the power those people have by the way they talk by the way they uh, emphasize on the, uh, we will completely trust we will completely trust them yes so i could find few people typing the answers yes okay so that is what is the, uh, that is what we call it as a persuasive communication persuasion persuasion is the word it is something where you force where you force someone to into something you make them believe that you are whatever you are saying is right so it's a, it's a art what you can you can also call it as an art of art just a minute okay yes so many some of them yes yes many people are saying yes very good very good to see the uh, answers that you are giving yeah. so uh, as i mentioned it's also an art in the way you talk and uh, for example and here also we have one particular aspect here they would also be observing the particular audience whenever you are talking to it we should make sure that you are conveying it to the right audience uh only if you feel that the audience is a part of it and audience will buy it or if audience will believe what you say then only you have to uh, have that communication with them so it is something where you persuade aap aakarshit karenge aap usko prerak karenge aur use uh, ye, ye samjhayenge ki aap jo kuch bhi bol rahe ho wo sahi hai and uh, yahan pe aap unke support bhi pa lenge aur unko believe karwayenge and also you will uh, make them to act what according what you uh, what you want them to so aap jaise kahenge wo waise karenge so it's it's like kind of a influencing thing okay so persuasive communication i hope you all got the meaning of this persuasive uh, communication yes someone has mentioned for a bag yes uh, generally when you go for uh, shopping and all the thing the bag if you're told you're buying some fancy items the bag or uh, uh if at all uh, you are uh, buying some uh, jewelry items and all or something slippers or your sandals the way they tell the the way they encourage you they they might say you know wow you this is looking very good uh, with you know, this bag is actually suitable for you it looks very nice with this color dress especially the dress you wear on that day they might attach it to that and say it is very much matching with this dress so because generally when you go to shopping you try to wear good clothes so they try to attach that bag color to that so this is these are the kind of the words that are used and um, this is very common and this press the especially in the present world you find it everywhere having a proper persuasive communication is profitable and it's it's good to have that and even the organization also would be expecting that you have some persuasive communication so that uh, you will be a good person to deal with the clients uh, to talk to this uh, new customers so talk to the customers talk to the people so that they become the customers so these are all the important aspects that we have when we think about this persuasion okay yes some of the answers are like in the showroom yeah okay good so let let's let's move on to let's see what are the other things that we are going to learn here and in that one of the thing is the variables the variables that we see uh, in the persuasive communication so get whenever talk about persuasion it's all about the uh, the way uh, to the attract the people and when it comes to communication the way you talk so that you uh, make them believe so that whatever the conversation that you will be uh, having with the uh, people around you that's called as persuasive communic uh, per sorry persuasive communication 
okay so let's see some of the uh, variables that are there in this persuasive communication the first one being the source like what if i have to explain this one it is something like what characteristics of the speaker uh, after the persuasive impact so whenever uh, you are talk talking about a product it could be something related to a product it could be something related to your brand or it could be something related to the service or also it could be uh, something where you are giving an information which is very very important uh, for the other person so yeah so that the person will believe that whatever you are saying so source is something the information and uh, the main content of it that you will be delivering you will be telling to others and if you see the next part of it it is the communication that the channel whether you're verbally saying it how are you writing it are you putting it in the posters are you you know sending the messages so how do you persuade the communication that happens there how it will impact the audience here this is very important we cannot um, for example we cannot uh, tell about the product of uh, you know the johnson's baby powder to an adult right uh, to a college teenager we cannot tell that product and tell them to a college teenager so that will not match out there so the proper audience is very important i'm just giving an example of uh, products but this is applicable everywhere this could be applicable in normal day to day conversation also or it could be applicable in the organization also so any organization that you uh, that you will be joining the reaction the audience reaction is very important if at all we are getting a positive reaction then we will be uh, uh, we will be confirm that okay whatever you have said has reached to that person suppose if there is no reaction then that might result in uh, some problem or uh, people even if you are dealing with an audience a wrong audience you might also get into arguing aap jagda bhi jagda bhi ho sakta hai wahan pe ladai bhi ho sakta hai agar aapne you know persuasive communication kiya ho kisi se wo tab jab wo interested nahi ho tab aap usse ye language mein communicate karoge persuasive taki wo believe kare aapko तब वो प्रॉब्लम में भी जा सकता है वो प्रॉब्लम हो सकता है सो वी नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल स्पेशली द ऑडियंस रिएक्शन इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इन परसुएसिव कम्युनिकेशन ओके सो लेट्स सी द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ इट या स्पेसिफिक परसुएसिव टेक्निक्स फॉर स्पेसिफिक ऑडियंस हियर वी नीड टू बी पर्टिकुलर अबाउट सर्टेन एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ इट लाइक एज ऑलरेडी मैंशन वॉट टेक्निक्स एट वी कैन यूज फॉर स्पेसिफिक ऑडियंस इफ यू टेक एनी वन वन पर्टिकुलर ऑडियंस वॉट काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट्स ओनली फॉर दैट ऑडियंस हाउ कैन वी टॉक इन दिस लैंग्वेज ऑफ परसुएसिव कम्युनिकेशन ओके so in this the strongly opposed that is the first part of it whenever uh, if if at all the audience is not at all you know willing completely against to react to what you or the speaker can they can create some uncertainty you know some kind of disturbance uh, so in the mind so if at all you are also uh, completely against a product that is also kind of persuasive whenever you're telling something bad about it or uh, this happens commonly when you say about a product suppose you don't like about product at all and you try to talk to others and say that mm, uh, that uh, that shampoo which i bought is not at all good it is very very bad it's not even um, you know having nice fragrance and it it has caused my hair fall so when you say all these things that that's again something where you are opposing where you are against something so when you tell this and may, when when you want others also to believe it sometimes other person might be using that shampoo and is very happy and she is very happy with it so there might come up a conflict between both of them because of the opposed uh, audience that you have whatever you are telling the audience may be completely into different i think everyone would have experienced this also moderately op um, opposed audience you no know, who are not who are like who may not care okay whatever you are saying is fine then there we have neutral audience so where you trying to change the attitude of the audience and uh, they might agree for that also they might think okay yeah that's true 
and moderately motivated moderately motivated people who are like who will say oh is it okay okay i'll not try to use that shampoo i think it is uh, not good so they will try to say that and their highly motivated audience who immediately will go and change their shampoo when you say that the shampoo is not good or it it has some kind of chemicals and okay okay i'll not, i'll just go and change they if they are changing it suddenly then that's something like an audience who are highly highly motivated so th- this i'm just telling in terms of the uh, uh product where you are telling it's not good similarly if you're telling about a product agar aap kuch product ke mare, bare mein bol rahe ho ki ye bahut acha product hai uh isse zyada fayda hoga agar wo highly motivated hai jo uh, jo uh, aapne bola usse motivated hua ho to zarur wo usi samay action bhi lega aur uh, maybe wo shampoo ko kharidega ya you know wo dusro, dusron ko bhi suggest karega to ye hota hai different type of audience uh, jinse aap uh, conversation karte ho aur ye ये यू नो इस तरीके के पीपल आपको बहुत जगहों बहुत जगह के मिलेंगे हर अगर आप ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पे वर्क कर रहे हो वहाँ पे भी बहुत लोग होंगे तो जो अलग 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 माइंडसेट के होते हैं सो देर विल बी पीपल इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल हैविंग डिफरेंट माइंडसेट सो सम पीपल विल वॉट एवर यू से दे आर अपोजिंग सम पीपल वॉट एवर यू से दे आर हाईली मोटिवेटेड सो डीलिंग विद ईच वन ऑफ दैम एंड ट्राइंग टू कन्विंस दैम अबाउट योर वर्क इट मे नॉट बी द प्रोडक्ट वो आपके वर्क भी हो सकता है अगर आपने आपको कुछ काम दिया हुआ हो और आपको डेड लाइन भी दिया हो शाम के अंदर आपको कम्प्लीट करना है और जब आप सबमिट करते हो तो आपको ऐसा बोलना है कि आपने जो आपने ये कंप्लीट बहुत प्रोसेसफुली किया है बहुत यू नो यू हैव डन इट इन अ प्रॉपर वे सो दैट द पर्सन हु इज एक्सेप्टिंग द प्रोड योर वर्क शुड फील दैट यू नो यू हैव वर्क इन दैट सो इट्स काइंड ऑफ अ प्रोसेस दैट वी कैन इवन यूज फॉर सर्विस बेस्ड आल्सो वट एवर द वर्क यू आर डूइंग देयर आल्सो यू कैन अप्लाई दिस सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द टेक्निक्स फॉर स्पेसिफिक ऑडियंस स्पेसिफिक टेक्निक्स सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द टेक्निक हियर इज यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ पीपल इफ यू कम्प्लीटली अपोजिंग लीव दैट इफ दैट पर्सन इज कम्प्लीटली अपोजिंग डोंट ट्राई टू कन्विंस टू मच दैट माइंड गो ऑन टू अ प्रॉब्लम ऑल्सो सो यू नीड टू जज वॉट काइंड ऑफ पीपल दे आर सो हाईली मोटिवेट द बेस्ट अप्रोच इज टू आज द ऑडियंस टू एक्ट ऑन द वॉट एवर वी आर सेंग टू एक्ट सून सो दैट इज हाउ वी ट्राई टू परसुएड अ हाईली मोटिवेटेड पर्सन okay so this is something which i wanted to say more more often it's about the language that uh, we all use different languages now when i t- talk about languages um generally we think about the language uh, of the mother uh, the mother tongue the spoken language that we uh, speak about like english hindi or you know the marathi or gujarati so we try to uh think about this as a language that we speak yes that is a part of it along with that whenever we are communicating verbally jab kabhi bhi hum verbal communication karte hain jab tab verbal mein ek uh, different kind of aspects hote hain jaise ki kuch words jo organization mein kuch organization mein use karna hai kuch organization mein nahi use karna hai to aisa kuch words hote hain to hum dekhenge ye uh, kya kya hai is language uh, concept mein so in this you will have the first uh, part of it that is something related to formal so why uh, some language some could be something which might be hurting to others also and this is irrespective of what language you are speaking agar aap english mein bol rahe ho ya hindi mein bol rahe ho kuch words aise hote hain jo jo ek kuch situation mein bolna chahiye kuch situation mein nahi bolna chahiye तो ये आ, हम देखेंगे इस लैंग्वेज में इसमें जो पहला कॉन्सेप्ट जो आता है वो है लेवल्स ऑफ फॉर्मेलिटी तो ये जब भी आप बात करते हो अगर द पर्सन हुम यू आर टॉकिंग टू शुड बिलीव यू देन यू शुड मेक श्योर दैट यू शुड मेंटेन अ प्रॉपर लेवल ऑफ फॉर्मेलिटी राइट ओके सो नाउ जनरली द फॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशन द फॉर्मली वॉट यू स्पीक फॉर्मल जैसे कि जो ऑडियंस है वो बता नहीं है या कोई पर्सन आपको मिल रहा है फर्स्ट टाइम मिल आप मिल रहे हो स्ट्रेंजर तब हमें फॉर्मली बात करना है तो आई वुड वांट टू आस्क यू ऑल विद हुम जनरली यू कैन मेंशन द पर्टिकुलर दिस थिंग आल्सो पर्टिकुलर वर्ड विद हुम डिड यू जनरली स्पीक इन फॉर्मल आप किस फॉर्मली बात करते हो यू नो इज्जत दे के विद रेस्पेक्ट किस से एक्चुअली आप फॉर्मल फॉर्मली बात करते हैं यू कैन मैंशन इट इन द लाइव सेक्शन हुम डू यू जनरली स्पीक 
with formal so yes so you can mention that in the chat section formally whom do you speak like uh, I, I just gave an example generally with an unknown people we speak formally whom do we don't know that much okay so we use formally so you can particularly mention whom you believe that it's very important to speak formally to speak in formal language so you can also mention in the chat section whom do you generally speak in formal way respect generally whom do you speak in formal so if at all I have to say in, in the um, someone with someone who like you know uh, who aap kise ek uh, structurally aap baat karo like ek akarik riti se yes okay so thank you for all the chats that you've given most of them have said that teachers and strangers interviewer unknown person senior anybody okay we can speak with anybody informally okay but there is some situation where we need to also uh, try to reduce the formality otherwise it will not look that much good guest elders very good elders guest teachers with the teacher okay so most of them said that it is like the teacher yes whenever we think about this word formal the way we are to speak more formally uh, we think about teacher more jab kabhi bhi hum ye kisse formally baat karna hai jab ye sochte hai pehla jo word hamare man mein aata hai wo hota hai teacher ya guru Oh, that is very common. Yes. So, uh, teachers ke saath hume formally baat karna hai. Aur jab kabhi bhi aap kisi naye vekti se milte ho, tab aap humko pata nahi hota hai, to oh, kaise react karega. To is liye, jab kabhi hum strangers ya naye vekti ko milte hai, tab hume formally conversation karna chahiye. Normally, formally respect di dena chahiye. Um, so, there, there are different, uh, like for example, in, uh, if you talk about Hindi, we have this way of speaking. Uh, way of giving formality in, by the, in the sentence itself by using the word aap. Uh, so that is one of the example. Aap use word, uh, aap word ko use karte hai, to wo formally consider kiya jata hai. In many, many, even uh, in many South Indian languages also, you have this kind of thing. But when it comes to English, we don't use ha, aap, we directly use you. So the way you show your tone should be, that should show more of your formality. Uh, may I help you? So when you, you are saying, it's the kind of a tone that you use that matters with the formality. So there is one more, uh, the next part of formality is the semi-formal. So once again, thank you for all the answers, teachers and guests. Uh, that's answers that you're given. Semi-formal is something to a well-known individual or an audience. You know, you might be knowing that person or you may not be uh, knowing that uh, person or an individual. So it's like kind of in between. You know that person, but you may not. So there you can little bit use semi-formal but make sure that it is always safe to use formal so that you don't get into uh, the don't get into conflict a problem in our panchay so next for the informal this is one thing which is not used at all and if informal is something where you are uh, not giving that much of uh, respect to the other person this is what other person thinks of so informal is something that we should always neglect about it semi-formal is in, in the tone that you're using might vary okay but informal is something where other person might get hurt so we should not use use much of this informal terms group jargon yes this word jargon the word jargon itself is something that we need to learn why particularly group jargon so this uh, if at all I have to say about jargon in Hindi we say jargon uh, is, is a word ya shabd hota hai ya shabdon ka bandar bhi keh sakte hai ya shab, shabd jhal bhi kehte hai jo kisi ek particular situation mein use kiya jata hai situ, particular group mein hi use kiya jata hai kyunki us group mein ye word bahut hi common hota hai aur us group mein ye word janna bahut zaruri bhi hai jaise ki technical terms agar uh, example do to uh, ye microsoft excel अगर आप माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल के रिलेटेड इवेंट पे जाते हैं वहाँ पे जब कोई प्रेजेंटर कोई बोलता है तो वहाँ पे बहुत सारे टर्म्स हैं जो टेक्निकली है फॉर एग्जांपल जो फॉर्मूला होता है वहाँ पे या फंक्शन होता है 
तो जो वो वर्ड फंक्शन या फॉर्मूला वहाँ पे जो यूज़ किया जाए वो किसी और जगह पे उसका मीनिंग और होगा लाइक फंक्शन तो होगा ये पार्टी वाला फंक्शन वो हो सकता है तो ये जो वर्ड है फंक्शन जब आप माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल के ग्रुप में आप जब प्रेजेंट करते हो तब उनका मीनिंग अलग हो सकता है कहीं और मीनिंग uh, कुछ और ही हो सकता है सो so, ये जो जारगन्स होते हैं वो समझना बहुत ज़रूरी है uh, आप किसी में ग्रुप में हो सो यू नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल वेन एवर यू आर इन अ ग्रुप ऑफ सम पीपल हु आर यूज टू दैट वर्ड्स देन यू नीड टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर नोइंग दैट वॉट इज़ द वर्ड दैट यू नीड टू बी यूजिंग एंड इफ आई टेक एन एग्जाम्पल लेट मी गिव सम एग्जाम्पल इन इफ एट ऑल अ वर्सन इज़ वर्किंग एज अज वॉट यू कॉल इट एज द uh in a, in a medical yeah if a person is working in a medical then definitely there will be a lot of terms that will be coming on if the person is saying like i need a script in order to pick up the medicine so that is what if it is saying you know even they are ordering something i need a script so this script in terms of this medical is something like prescription so but we think of script as something in a drama script or the script that we uh, used to talk in front of audience but there the word script is used particularly for the prescription so ye ek uh, diff- uh, uh, word hota hai jo alag alag place mein uska meaning bhi badalta jayega so ye hota hai jargon to so, group jargon uh, ye hota hai uh, group jargon jo particular group mein hum use karte hain agar aapko aisa kuch word pata ho jargons agar aapko koi jargon pata ho jo ek word hai jo al- uh, kai aur ग्रुप में वो उसका मीनिंग बदलेगा या कुछ पर्टिकुलर वर्ड जो उसी ग्रुप में हम उसे कह सके एक पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप में ही कह सके अगर आपको ऐसा पता हो तो आप चार सेक्शन पे लिख सकते हो एनी जारगन दैट यू नो एन एग्जांपल द जारगन इन दी कोर्ट कोर्ट में जारगन आप यूज़ करते हैं लॉयर का जो जारगन होता है वो पर्टिकुलरली वहाँ पर यूज़ करते हैं जैसे कि वो कहते जज uh, कहते योर ऑब्जेक्शन इज़ ओवर रूल्ड जो जो ऑब्जेक्शन ओवर रूल्ड जो टर्म है वो लीगल जागन है जो पर्टिकुलरली वहाँ के कोर्ट के अंदर ज़्यादा यूज़ करते हैं सो उसका ओवर रूल्ड का क्या मतलब है तो वो कोर्ट के अंदर ही रहता है ऐसा जारगन्स अगर आपको कोई ऐसे जारगन्स बताओ तो आप लाइव चैट पे लिख सकते हो uh, कौन से ऐसे जारगन से कौन से किस शब्द है जो पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप में यूज़ किया जाता है और uh, उसका मीनिंग जब आप दूसरे ग्रुप में जाते हो बदल भी सकते हैं या नाम भी बदल सकते हैं लेकिन पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप में ही ज़्यादा यूज़ होता है सो so, ऐसे वाले जागन से अगर आपको पता है तो आप लाइव चैट पे लिख सकते हो इफ़ यू कैन टाइप इट इन द लाइव चैट सेक्शन सो वन 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 ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल फॉर द पोलिस जारगन आई कुड से द सस्पेक्ट इज़ हेडेड वेस्ट सो ऑल अवेलेबल यूनिट्स रेस्पॉन्ड वैन यू इज़ ऑन अ कॉल यू से दैट द सस्पेक्ट इज़ हेडेड वेस्ट सो हियर द वर्ड सस्पेक्ट यू नो इट कुड भी पर्टिकुलरली मीनिंग or the person who has uh, maybe the murderer or the person who has robbed something so it might they are particularly saying that word suspect which means for them all it is a person whom they need to catch very nice i could see the answers the source very good program okay so source is one of the thing that people use very nice so these are the uh, program program also we find in different program coding program that is different the program that happens in the stage is different source very nice that is also good so source from where we get the product the source which where the things start in accounting uh, goods means product okay that's also good goods means product in accounting wow very nice to see you are active everyone's active responses okay so let's move on to the next part of it the next part that uh, we need to know about this language it's the slang a slang is something where you uh, use in a particular situation particular country and you have different slangs based on the country for example put uh, pull someone's leg ye ek slang hota hai pull someone's leg iska matlab hai aap kisi ko uh, niche uh, niche uh, kheechna ये पुल से अपने लिटरेरी ऐसा नहीं कि आप किसी के पैर को पकड़ के ऐसे खींच रहे हो वो मीनिंग होता है कि आप उसे ग्रो होने से स्टॉप कर रहे हो आपको उनको तंग कर रहे हो तो ये होता है इसका मीनिंग सो ये सब स्लैंग्स होते हैं ये आप वर्बली कम्युनिकेट कर सकते हैं लेकिन ये पर्टिकुलरली वी शुड नॉट यूज दिस टर्म्स वेन यू आर 
परसुएडिंग समथिंग वैन यू आर परसुएडिंग जब जब कभी आप मोटिवेट करते हो दूसरों लोगों को आपके बात बिलीव करने के लिए तो ये सब वर्ड्स को आपको मिनिमाइज़ करना है जैसे कि पुल समन्स लाइक वन ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल इज समथिंग स्मेल्स फिशी इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि आपको एक्चुअली फिश का स्मेल आ रहा है इसका मतलब ये है कि कुछ तो गड़बड़ है तो ये होता है एक काइंड ऑफ ईडियोमेटिक स्लैंग ईडियम्स भी कहते हैं हमें इसे तो ये बहुत ऐसे बहुत सारे स्लैंग्स होते हैं ईडियम्स होते हैं जो हम रेगुलरली यूज़ करते हैं वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन इससे दूसरों का मन भी बदल सके तो स्पेशली वी शुड नॉट यूज़ दिस टर्म्स लाइक नेगेटिव टर्म्स लाइक फुल पुल समन्स लाइक समथिंग स्मेल्स फिशी सो ऑल दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल विच आई एम गिविंग यू सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अवॉइड ऑल दीज काइंड ऑफ स्लैंग्स Uh, generally when we are talking and motivating someone regarding this so these are some of the points that we need to know and we should also not use some of the languages uh, which is uh, kind of a cheating to them you know we, we should not say some lies and say that okay uh, this is going to happen if you buy this definitely you will grow 25 times faster jab kabhi aap cheat वर्ड यूज़ करते हैं ना टर्म्स या सेंटेंसेस यूज़ करते हैं किसी और को मोटिवेट करने का वो इतना अच्छा क्वालिटीज नहीं है तो हमको एक्चुअली वी हैव टू ट्राई टू टेल समथिंग व्हिच इज़ ट्रू बट द वे यू से दैट शुड बी चेंजिंग रादर देन टेलिंग समथिंग व्हिच इज नॉट ट्रू ओके सो सम ऑफ द कन्फ्यूजिंग लैंग्वेज और सो शूड नॉट यूज डेलीबरेटली यू आर क्रिएटिंग सम स्टोरीज एंड डेलीबरेटली इंटेंशनली क्रिएटिंग अ सिटुएशन सो दैट इज ऑल्सो वी शूड ट्राई टू अवॉइड वेन एवर यू आर ट्राइंग टू परसुएड और वेन एवर यू आर इन दिस परसुएज यू कम्युनिकेशन सो दैट पीपल विल बिलीव यू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर नॉट यूजिंग द स्लैंग्स विच आर नॉट सपोज टू बी यूज सम नेगेटिव स्लैंग्स so i hope you all uh, understood few of the things here uh, so i would like to want to argue one more uh, a task for you guys if at all you know any slangs that we generally use so it could be positive or it could be negative you can mention it in the chat section any slangs that you remember or any slangs that you know you can mention it in the chat section what are the common slangs uh, or some of the idioms also if you know you can please mention in the chat section any particular idiom just example as i gave already so you can mention that also some of the idioms also you can mention yes very good very nice some of the slangs if, you, if uh, for example if i um use a word uh, green if i use a word green so that generally doesn't mean that that's actually green in color it is something which is happier or prosper which has something uh, positive around it so that could be one of the meaning for that slang when you say fishy that fishy is something which is wrong actually it is not looking like a fish so that is also one kind of uh, slang that people use and howdy that is recently everyone would have known about howdy that's also kind of a slang that use uh, how are you in stop that they use howdy so that is also one of the slang an example okay so if at all you know something like that okay mind your language fine that is all that is also negative sometimes when you say mind your language is kind of a negative uh, word that will be giving so that is an example so all these things uh, are the slangs that you generally mention some of uh, the words particularly but make sure that you are not using much of it okay make sure you are not using much of the slangs that is kind of a negative uh, whenever you are persuading and thing okay positive attitude mind your language okay that is also kind of a uh, uh, idioms that we use generally okay good yes so let's let's move on to the next uh, part of it designing persuasive communication yes so creating awareness promote images message retention stimulate action okay we'll see one by one what is this creating awareness what is uh, promoting language uh, images now creating awareness uh, that is the these all comes under the first part that we are uh, talking about which is to establish the communication objectives what objectives that we how do we establish it now creating awareness 
is something where for example uh, if at all uh, i hope everyone would have participated in this swachh bharat abhiyan mission so what actually are you telling the people you are uh, you are telling people not to throw anything out uh, out so that uh, you know uh, the, the the city will be clean so if you throw it out it will be dirty सो ये जो अवेयरनेस जब आप देते हो तो आप लोगों को आपको बिलीव करवाते हो कि ये गलत है तो वो होता है एक तरह की परसुएजिव कम्युनिकेशन जहाँ पे लोग आपके जो वर्ड्स को सुन के फिर बाद में बिलीव करें तो ये होता है अवेयरनेस यू कैन ऑल्सो टाइप ऑफ सम ऑफ द अवेयरनेस दैट यू हैव पार्टिसिपेटेड आई एम जस्ट गिविंग एग्जाम्पल ऑफ स्वच्छ भारत अभियान so similarly there are different types of awareness that people participate into uh, so if you have participated in any awareness you can definitely mention in the, in the chat section and promote images ye images zyada tar you know images is a very good tool ye bahut hi acha tool hai jo jisko dekh ke log apne man ko badal sake aur aapko believe kar sake एग्जाम्पल्स होते हैं ये पोस्टर्स आप कॉलेज में भी पोस्टर्स क्रिएट करते होंगे कुछ मैसेज सोशल मैसेज दे देते होंगे उस एक इशू के ऊपर जब हम वो देखते हैं अगर वो पोस्टर या इमेज बहुत अच्छा है तो हम वहाँ पे भी हमारे मन बदलता है और हम उसे बिलीव कर देते हैं तो दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ अ परसुएजिव कम्युनिकेशन वेयर द इमेज कैन एक्चुअली मैनिपुलेट द योर थिंकिंग एंड इमेज कैन मेक यू टू believe some uh, if something is true you know through the images that you have save trees very good um save trees save life save trees save life is a kind of a uh, i think uh, it's a drive where you are mainly intention uh, intention is to protect the environment very nice very good okay so posters that as i already mentioned it comes under promoting images message retention message retention is something where suppose if you are giving up some message or something like that we need to make sure that we are uh, maintaining that message for a long time and here one more point which i wanted to uh, say is that whenever you are going to message or something you should make sure that even we are following it so if at all your main part of a persuasive communication we want to persuade people to uh, towards this swachh bharat abhiyan okay and you want to give this message agar aapko swachh bharat abhiyan ke bare mein message dena hai agar logon ko badalna hai unke man ki thinking ko badalna hai aur jab aap ye procession mein ja rahe hote logon ko ye jo slogans keh rahe hote tab agar aap hi us procession mein kuch gandagi kare to wahan pe kuch connect hi nahi hoga log use point karenge और हम ये न्यूज़ पे भी देखते हैं ना जो कोई भी बोलता है हम कुछ कुछ चीज़ के बारे में बोलते हैं हम उसके हिस्ट्री को डिग करके देखते हैं क्या उन्होंने ये मिस्टेक किया है पहले या नहीं तो ये होता है नो रिटेंशनिंग वॉट द मैसेज दैट यू गिव सो आपको वो मैसेज को रिटेन भी करना हमेशा के अगर आप एक टाइम ये बोल रहे हो दूसरे टाइम कोई और वर्ड्स बोल रहे हो तो वो मैचिंग नहीं करेगा तो जब कभी भी आप की कम्युनिकेशन में थोड़ा कुछ मीनिंग होता है उस मीनिंग को आप मेनटेन करना है हमेशा के लिए स्टिमुलेट एक्शन मतलब आप लोगों को जब अवेयरनेस के बारे में बात बताते हो तो उसे आप आप ये भी बताना है कि उन्हें क्या करना है फॉर uh, एग्जांपल अगर आप स्वच्छ भारत अभियान के बारे में कम्युनिकेट कर रहे हो लोगों को तो आपको ये भी मैसेज देना है कि आप uh, क्या करें ताकि ये uh, आपके मैसेज कंप्लीट हो आपको भी प्रूफ मिले कि उन आपका जो मैसेज है वो कन्वे हुआ हो uh, जैसे कि उनको कहना है कि आप डस्टबिन को रखना है हर जगह पर if i take an example of swachh bharat abhiyan so uh, so these are the different examples i remember in one of the plays uh, one of the college i observed this during gandhi jayanti it's like entire college was uh, uh, you know most of uh, most of the corners of the college they kept this box with the quotes in that regarding the swachh bharat abhiyan and it was very inspiring to see uh, people doing all those uh, actions so here they are actually converting it into an action so whenever if you are a person if you want to say something about this swachh bharat abhiyan make sure that you tell something where they can get into action and they can start showing it so this is a part of a uh, uh, establishing the communication in terms of in especially in terms of persuasive communication okay yes so there are many say water beti bachao beti padhao yes beti bachao beti padhao is a very famous uh, uh, We, uh, the wordings, the slogans that we see in most of the plays, 
especially in schools we see it in advertisements also yes that is a very uh, famous one and we all need to uh, understand it that's an important point to be considered very nice to see that okay so the next part is choose media strategy आप किस मीडियम के थ्रू uh, आप मैसेज देना चाहते हो किस मीडियम के साथ आप परसुएट करना चाहते हो परसुएट कम्युनिकेशन मतलब किस चैनल से आप uh, लोगों को प्रेरणा देना चाहते हो लोगों को प्रेरक करने चाहते हो ताकि वो बिलीव करें आपको मीडिया विच मीडिया क्या है वो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया इंटरनेट है या टी के थ्रू एडवर्टाइजमेंट के थ्रू क्या पैम्पलेट बांटने से तो ये होता है अलग अलग तरीके क्या सिर्फ बोलने से किसी एक व्यक्ति को बोलने से वो भी एक मीडिया होता है कंज्यूमर प्रोफाइल सो वॉट इज द कंज्यूमर टाइप लाइक वॉट काइंड ऑफ कंज्यूमर अगर ये आप स्वच्छ भारत अभियान के बारे में एक एग्जाम्पल लिया तो आप अगर आप ये लोगों को समझना समझाना चाहते हो तो अगर आप गवर्नमेंट ऑफिस के अंदर जाके ये कह रहे हो कि आपको स्वच्छ भारत अभियान फॉलो करना है तो वो मैच नहीं करेगा तो आपको जहाँ पे वो इन्फॉर्मेशन पहुँचना है वहाँ पे जाके हमें ये इन्फॉर्मेशन देना है सो कंज्यूमर प्रोफाइल जानना बहुत ज़रूरी है उसके लिए कहाँ पे लेते हैं वो लोग कहाँ पे हमें ये बताना है इवन इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आल्सो जब कभी टास्क दिया जाता है आपको आपको ये पता होना चाहिए कि आप किस से जाके पूछे किस से जाके ये बता सके ताकि ताकि आपको इन्फॉर्मेशन मिले और उसे कन्विंस कर सके और आपको बिलीव करके आपको आप, आपको वो काम कम्प्लीट करवा के दे तो ये सब कंज्यूमर uh, प्रोफाइल जो है ये अंडरस्टैंड होना बहुत ज़रूरी है ऑडियंस प्रोफाइल इज ऑल्सो इफ ऑडियंस प्रोफाइल इज समथिंग वेर यू थिंक इन अ बिग पिक्चर फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू से टू वेरी लार्ज मीडिया सो यू नीड टू नो विच टाइप ऑफ ऑडियंस फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप एक क्वेश्चन आप सबको है ये जो टी वी में जो एडवर्टाइजमेंट आता है एस्पेशली रिगार्डिंग दिस अप्सरा पेंसिल्स एग्जाम्पल ओके अप्सरा यानी ब्रांड ऑफ पेंसिल्स Which channel do you think they will more concentrate on? Okay, तो आप चार सेक्शन पर लिख सकते हो जनरली ये पेंसिल का जो एड होता है वो कहाँ पर आप ज़्यादा कौन से चैनल टी वी टी वी चैनल भी बोल सकते हो और कौन से टाइप के चैनल में वो ज़्यादा आता है वो ये आप बता सकते हो एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ अगर ये जो ब्रांड है पेंसिल का तो वो टी वी में ओके टी वी में पर्टिकुलरली लिए तो कौन से चैनल में आता है क्या वो पेंसिल का जो एड है ज़्यादातर स्टार स्पोर्ट्स में आता है या कोई और ब्रांड में आता है तो ज़्यादा कौन से ब्रांड में ज़्यादा आता है ज़्यादा एडवर्टाइजमेंट्स जो पेंसिल ब्रांड का किस सॉरी किस टीवी चैनल में आता है कौन से चैनल पे यस वेरी गुड वेरी नाइस कुछ से समन सिंह आज तक ओके सो दैट पीप सी द मेन इंटेंशन ऑफ इफ इट टॉक अबाउट यस द पेंसिल्स हु इज अ कस्टमर ऑफ द पेंसिल इट्स जनरली यूजली इट्स अ किड्स राइट एंड आफ्टर दैट यू स्टार्ट यूजिंग पेन मोर यू यूज वेरी लेस पेंसिल्स सो किड्स आर द पीपल हु जनरली यूज दिस पेंसिल्स and you find more often in the kids channel you know if you see the apsara pencil the natraj pencil and all you generally don't find much of pencil advertisements but if you find also you will generally find it in the uh, kids channel and the channel where kids will be watching and if you see cartoons and all that thing uh, many people have mentioned cartoon channel very good in cartoon channels you will find different different variety pencils crayons and all that can, thing Mo- mostly it is in the cartoon channels very nice serials also okay in serials if they if all the serial is something related to the kids one there are so many kids serials so there you also you will find uh, particular advertisements related to the uh, kids yes so these are some of the examples where you choose the media and also where, where you want to convey the message third is decide on message strategy words or pictures do you want to send it through words or pictures kids will be more attracted towards the words towards the sorry towards the pictures so that is why you will have the caught all the cartoon characters uh, displayed in the tv ads whenever they are selling some kids product if you see some of the kids product like crayons you see the uh, cartoon characters jumping because kids get attracted to it so words through words generally we uh, ad, uh, like all the adults find it okay with the words so they go for verb vividness is the difference in different different type of aspects 
repetition again and whenever the ad comes again and again that will be there in your mind for always sometimes we get irritated but definitely that is one of the way um, so okay next one is a seminar text oh sorry semantics so that is also one of the uh, uh, meaning like what we what meaning are we giving to that is what what is the main intention of that so the intention of the message okay so semantics particularly if i say in hindi it is uh, something related to the meaning or arth jo bolte hain arth ke related arth sambandhi so what uh, meaning that it will give to you as an audience when whenever you are watching something so what uh, uh, meaning i will get from that particular ad or particular thing kya mujhe kya usse samajh mein aayega kya arth milega wo hota hai semantics सो so, वो भी आपको डिसाइड करना है जब कभी भी आप मैसेज देते हो इससे उनको क्या समझ में आया क्या अर्थ मिले उनको क्या समझ में आया तो ये होता है सेमेंटिक्स सी ये सब वर्ड्स आप प्लीज़ लिखिए पेपर में ताकि आप जब कभी भी ये सुनते हो आपको ये समझ में आ जाएगा सो इट्स गुड टू राइट इट डाउन सम ऑफ द वर्ड्स लाइक स्पेशल दिस सेमेंटिक्स वी जनरली डोंट यूज एट बट द मेन मीनिंग ऑफ सेमेंटिक्स इज समथिंग विच इज़ रिलेटेड टू मीनिंग या अर्थ अर्थ जो होता है ये होता है मीनिंग ऑफ सेमेंटिक्स तो हम जब मैं हम जब मैसेज देते हैं तो सेमेंटिक्स को भी जरूर आ, समझना जरूरी है कि क्या मीनिंग है इसका ये लोगों लोग लो क्या समझेंगे इसके बारे में ओके सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द पार्ट्स दैट वी नीड टू डिसाइड वेन एवर वी आर हैविंग अ परसुएसिव कम्युनिकेशन सो थैंक यू ऑल फॉर द आंसर्स डैट यू आर गिवन या सो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट यस डिजनी चैनल सम ऑफ दम आर सींग दैट डिजनी चैनल that is also one of the uh, channel where you find most of the uh, people are uh, most of the kids most of the kids get into it get attracted to it okay so yeah some other what is vividness mean okay Vivi- vividness means uh, something which has a life to it something which is more attractive lively or um, Uh, if if at all uh, we tell in hindi then we can say as uh, it's very kya uh, kya spashtata ya bahut hi spasht ho ya usme kuch life ho jeevit ho ya jeevan jeevantata jo kehte hain hum ye hota hai vividness jeevantata is a right word for vividness so that's a meaning of vividness whatever that you are conveying it should have something related to it it should some it should be something unique about that and it should have something liveliness to it also some sparkling thing aur kuch aakarshit wala so ye hota hai vividness so jisme life ho isme jaan ho ya ye right word hai jaan ho wo hota hai vividness okay so these are some of the uh, words that uh, you know we need some of the points that we need to think about when we are communicating with the people okay yes so let's let's uh, i think let's take a sh- very short break of 3 uh, 4 minutes and uh, we will be back um, after the uh, uh, you can mark your attendance please mark your attendance in that kaizala group and we'll be back within 4 uh, minutes exactly at 12:36 37 we will be continuing so see you all soon
Yes, well, welcome back after the short break. Yes, so let's uh, continue with the next uh, part of it. Next important part that we all need to know in the term, in the communication part, and it's nothing but the phatic communication. I repeat, it's called as phatic, p h a t i c, phatic communication. Uh, the actual transliteration of this phatic communication, if we think in Hindi, it means charan bhad sanchar, charan bhad samchar. So it is kind of a communication which has certain uh, steps and also it is kind of a conversation where we use it without giving some information particularly without actually making them to believe what you're saying but it is a normal communication that we all talk in our day-to-day -day life okay something a normal conversation that you for example starting with hi hello uh, how are you so these are all the phatic communication where in a particular situation you'll be using it whenever you're meeting a new person that time you'll be saying hi alone no, not in between of your conversation so wherever it's required at that time you'll be using this phatic communication so let's see what uh, as i already mentioned this phatic communication is a regular con communication where you'll not be actually thinking uh, talking about the main uh, some information where the other person need to understand completely but it is something related to the ca casual conversation that you for example greetings is also kind of a phatic communication so before that it's very important it's, we can also call it as a small talk in fact for social purposes and all we use it whenever we uh, we talk with the people uh, we use a small talk for example if i today uh, rick like uh, you are talking to your friend and you're talking like oh i like this tv serial i like uh, this uh, kumkum bhagya so that time the other person who is there beside you will say oh wow that's so nice even i like kumkum bhagya and it's very nice tv series so when you say this conversation this is what the social conversation or you call it as a small talk okay where it will go on go on the talk will go on uh, go on until but the main intention may not be something to give as an information but it main intention is you are having a conversation between two people Big talk is something where it comes to the transactional purposes. Whenever you're doing some transactions, whenever you are telling, like, okay, so the meeting is on 17th July. So when you say this, uh, then the other person, okay. So when this conversation happens, this is what the transactional purpose for particular, uh, this is what you call it as big talk. So will this small talk is what we are concentrating more about, uh, as, which comes under this phatic communication. So here are some of the examples that we have for phatic communication. Chat, chatting, the message chatting whenever you chat, the first message message you send, hi, then the, you'll get the reply as hi, then how are you? These are very common messages that goes on. So this is what is called as the phatic communication uh, messages or phatic communication words. And everyday conversation, everyday conversation, like for example, when you, uh, after you complete your college, once you go back to your home and home, you say like, uh, you, okay, uh, what, what, uh, what is special today so that I can have evening snacks. So when you ask this with your parents or with your guardians, so that is a kind of a conversation which comes under fatigue as a small talk, social talk, especially when you are meeting some new person outside your house. The way you say, oh, it's been long time. It's, we are not met for long time. This is an example for that. Uh, relational talk, something, you know, this is something where it goes on one by one. Uh, uh, if you want to say something like uh, what happened yesterday, if you want to continue what happened yesterday. So, okay, yesterday you told something like this. What happened now, today? So then the other person will say, today, today uh, this was a news that came up in the TV. So that is what it is relational to whatever has happened interactional interactional talk so where you uh, the main purpose is to interact between people this ha this is uh, when you try want to speak to someone whom you feel that okay speaking to that person will be very good if you meet a stranger you will say like hey hi i, I think i have seen you in uh, facebook i've seen you in social media so yeah your pictures are really nice so when you say this thing that is what the interactional talk where the other person also will say oh yeah that's so nice then uh, you will also start saying about some of the uh, you know his facebook ideas so this is what is the interactional talk is all about so why it is important yes that's that's uh, one of the important point to ask about see there are many importance related to that but the main intention is that it brings a liveliness to you and you will be uh, 
you know respected by others because you are a person who wants to be in the conversation a simple example we can take about fatty communication why it is important is suppose you are meeting a person and you are not even greeting that person agar koi aap kisi se mil rahe ho aur use greet hi nahi kar rahe jaise ki aap hi namaste nahi bol rahe ho to definitely unko lagega acha ye कॉन्वर्जेशन स्टार्ट करने के लिए रेडी नहीं है तो ये मैसेज आप दे रहे हो उनको तो इसलिए जो जो फैटिक कम्युनिकेशन है ये ज़रूरी है ताकि आप आ, लोगों को बता सके कि आप बात करने के लिए रेडी हो आप आ, बात आप आपसे आप कोई बात करे तो आपको अच्छा लगे तो ये जो मैसेज आप दे यू विल बी गिविंग दिस मैसेज वेन एवर यू आर इनिशिएटिंग द टॉक और वेन एवर यू हैविंग दिस फैटिक कम्युनिकेशन थिंग दैट इज़ वाई इट्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ फैटिक कम्युनिकेशन and uh, yes so now there are some problems with the fatic communication also there are some problems related to that so what are these problems sometimes it's dismissed as unimportant for like you would have, i think everyone would have uh, uh, observed this whenever you go and say hi to someone the other person will say hi and they will not not be saying anything there will be stop so that time there will not be anything your intention would have been okay continuing the talk so that other person also will talk to you but when you say hi the other person will say hi and the conversation ends up there so sometimes it might be dismissed or it may not be considered as unimportant so this is a problem with the small talk and which is something which is also called as the fatic uh, communication is just greetings and salutations sometimes you say hi hello and uh, it might go off from there it might not have any information passage it's only a situational talk big talk and small talk are separate things yeah so this is uh, something we get confused with whenever we want to convey some important messages we want to do some transactional messages or something like that we ju- we just say hi hello and we just end it up there our main purpose would not have been served so we get confused with this so literacy literacy skills transfer to speaking skills okay that is also uh, something whatever we are about to say whatever we have written down so when we want to convey it you know the, the speaking skills or whatever we want to say we may not be able to say it completely if, if with the, just with these fatic communication words or with the small talk so it doesn't need to be thought that is also correct it small talk is com- comes with everyone you know it's a norm it comes in the normal conversation it does no one has to teach you any uh, teachers any fatic communication fatic questions okay so now here is a uh thing where you guys have also have to give some answers so fatic questions are something where you uh, ask a simple question like do you like a uh, milk or maybe like question like do you like chocolate so this is a kind of a fatic communication where we actually are not giving some information rather you are asking something so that the other person will reply kya aapko ye serial pasand hai to obviously kya answer aayega us us direction se acha ye ये अच्छा सीरियल है ये मुझे पसंद है तो ये हो गया फैटिक कम्युनिकेशन जो है स्मॉल टॉक जो ज़रूरी है कहना भी क्योंकि जब कभी आई एज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड द मेन इंपॉर्टेंस इज वेन एवर यू हैव फैटिक कम्युनिकेशन यू गोन बिल्ड अ रिलेशनशिप विद अदर पर्सन यू गोन हैव अ वेरी गुड नो बॉन्डिंग विद अदर पर्सन सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स एस्पेशली दिस क्वेश्चन इज समथिंग दैट यू नीड टू रियलाइज सो नाउ आई वुड लास्ट यू गाइज Uh, which is a very common question that you listen in a classroom in a college in college or in a school which is a very common question that you hear from uh, uh, from your teachers whenever you, the starting of the conversation jab kabhi bhi teacher classroom mein enter hote hain to aap jab aap wish bhi karte ho good morning good afternoon uske baad mein jo teacher jo normally kehta hai wo kaun sa wo ek sentence hai i'm sure that everyone would have known this wo kaun sa sentence hai जो जनरली लोगों को सॉरी द टीचर और द फैकल्टी विल बी यूजिंग यू एस्पेशली वंस यू विश द फैकल्टी गुड आफ्टरनून एंड अदर पर्सन ऑल्सो विल गुड आफ्टरनून आफ्टर दैट वॉट इज अ वेरी कॉमन टर्म दैट यू हियर फ्रॉम द फैकल्टी सेइंग इन द क्लासरूम और इन द कॉलेज सो यू कैन मैंशन इट इन द चैट सेक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई कैन गिव दैट वॉट डिड यू क्वेश्चन कुड बी वॉट डिड वी लर्न इन द लास्ट क्लास दैट कुड बी वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सो इन द सिमिलर वे can you can you mention some of the uh, question that you generally get to hear from the faculty jo faculty sab suna jada tar sunai deta hoga ye jo sentence hai so wo kaun sa ek sentence hai uh, jo aap re- regularly college mein sunte ho college teacher uh, faculty uh, faculty se sunte ho ye jo word classroom mein maybe when the teacher is entering inside the classroom so you can mention that in the chat 
Okay, this is very common. Have you completed your program? Have you completed your homework? Very nice. Good to hear this. So this is one of the question that we hear. Have a good day. Okay. So that is also generally good day. We say this at the end of the conversation, you know, have a good day. So whenever we end the conversation, we say have a good day. Sit down. Okay. That's also a common one. When, because when you wish, you everyone will be standing up. So you say sit down. Okay. Very nice. That is also one of these uh, word that we use. Okay, nice. Nice to see the reply. Uh, did you complete the assignment? That is a common one. Good afternoon. Have completed the homework. And most of them have mentioned this homework and assignment. Yes. So that is one thing which we are scared of also. At the starting of the session, we feel like, okay, now will the teacher ask me the assignment? Have we completed the assignment? So that is one of the common uh, sentence that we listen to. Yes. So now this fatting questions are something where you will have an answer to, but that answer, you don't have to think much about it. You will have something to say directly. So that is what this fatic communication is all about. And uh, if you see some of the question, especially this fatic question, if at all you want to get and reply from them, you can ask two questions of, for example, um, how was the exam when you ask? You can ex expect from others like, oh, exam was good. You might ask, instead of that, if you're asking, how was the exam? Was it good? So definitely, what will be the answer from the other side? That person will know that whether the person should answer good or bad. Yeah, that means like, yeah, it was good. So here is how the conversation happened. So we, we, it's better to have, always have a conversation in that way. How was the exam? Was it good? It's better to say rather than just asking, how was the exam? So there is a difference in these two. And the second part of it, you are actually giving a hint of the answer to the other person. So that is one of the example. One more example. Uh, when are you going to Mumbai? Have you decided? That is one of the questions. See, just by saying, when are you going to Mumbai? You might get answers like, okay, I'm going to Mumbai next day or something like that. Or I'm not a decided. So have you decided is a conversation uh, is one more sentence that you're asking, which is related to that. So this is one of type of fatty questions where you it will be very helpful for you to have more and more conversations. Uh, when suppose if you meet a new person in your uh, in new classmate in your college, you can ask like, where do you where do you live? Is it near here? Maybe and that means you are saying like, you know, uh, is that person near to this place? So uh, we should try to make it uh, something where you are creating more curiosity, where people also will be very happy to speak to you. And some more fatty questions, um, uh, if you're asking, suppose if uh, he, a person has completed an assignment, uh, for example, if a person has com uh, your friend has completed an assignment, then you can ask him, how long it take to, uh, did it take to you to complete the assignment? Like an hour or two? where you are only giving the answer. So that is also kind of thing where the person is, no, no, it, it took almost three hours. So instead of just saying that, how long it did, how long did it take to complete? You can ask, how long did it take to complete? Is it like one, two or three hours? So this is an example where definitely you will get an answer for sure because you have already emphasized the question with one more sentence. Um, then who else is go going? If you ask like that, if at all the people are going for some time, who else is going? Instead of that, you can particularly ask, particularly ask who else is going, uh, you know, like uh, is uh, Jaya going, is uh, Rashmi also a part of it? So when you ask like this, no, you are creating an environment of asking more and more questions. So expanding it is very important. And we try to use these terms like, well, actually, uh, so, you know. So when these all terms, you know, we generally use as a part of a fatic communication and try to use this whenever you are giving an answer to these questions, especially like, well, so let me just write it down. Yeah. Example like, well, whenever we're giving the answer, like, well, I have decided it to uh, decided to go tomorrow so this is kind of an example or in between if you know if you say uh, you know i'm thinking of uh, changing the idea so with there you are using this term you know so all this thing well uh, you know okay. try to use this in between the conversation actually you find people using basically also actually 
so this is also one type of term like i mean uh, i mean uh, i have to be there so something like that that is also one of the one something like that so these terms are a part of attic questions which will whenever you answer so these are the part of the answers that you give whenever someone is asking the attic question so what did you do last weekend instead of asking this what did you do last weekend did you go out or anything so what will be the answer for this answer will be like well no actually i just stayed in i mean i'm going to uh, bangalore next week for a for a trip so i'm saving money you know what i mean so here if you see the answer for this there are so many words i'd like to repeat this once again suppose if the question one person is asking a question if agar koi ye question pooch raha hai so what did you do last weekend or did you go out or anything uh, answer hoga well no actually uh, i just stayed in i mean i'm going to uh, tokyo next week for a concert or maybe i'm going to bangalore next week for a concert so i'm saving money you know what i mean so here if you see the words like well no actually i mean you know what i mean so these words are adding some kind of a casuality to it and it will make your conversation look very very beautiful and if I, okay so let's let's go to the one more question with one more activity uh, i want to ask you uh, one more wo- question for suppose if anyone is asking question what kind of music do you like so you you what what could be your answer you like melody pop music rock music so this could be the answer now you have to continue this conversation by saying like who is your favorite uh, pop singer maybe the answer would be uh, Sel- uh, selena gomez or something like that related to or maybe it's some act- actor b or a singer a so what's your favorite uh, what's your favorite selena songs that could be the next question have you ever been to her concert that could be one more question do you uh, do you want to be suppose if the answer is no then do you want to go to one more conversation do, sorry do you want to go to her concert that could be the next question so this is how it follows on the conversations and uh, all these fatic questions will definitely uh, if you are trying to answering with a style with the answering with good words like well no actually it will add more beauty to the language so one more uh, fatic conversation you can ask is like uh, Uh, recently i have been listening to some classical music uh, you know i like uh, the indian classical music so what kind of music do you like so instead of asking directly what kind of music do you like here i am adding some more expression where i am telling my experience so that definitely you will answer that i'm telling you know recently i have been listening to this classical music uh, you know like uh, indian classical music uh, so what kind of music do you like see there is a, definitely a difference in the first one when you're asking what kind of music do you like and second one where you're asking where you're telling your experience definitely in the first question when you're asking what kind of music do you like you might get answer pop music but in the second case where you are saying like recently i have been listening to in classical music i like indian classical music what kind of music do you like when you ask this question you might get answer like well uh, it depends on my mood i mean i sometimes i like to listen classical but i listen to pop music more so definitely where they will tell their interest also you know expanded way so that's how the conversation goes on so uh, if you can con- con- you know continue it like what like uh, you like some uh, something like um, one direction then definitely is no no i really like something like related to shreya goshal so this is how the conversation goes on if at all you are telling your own experience in this so you can only guess by those two questions which i said first question was what kind of music do you like the second question was telling your experience of that you like classical music what do you like so these two there is a lot of difference definitely the conversation will go on very smoothly in the second case compared to the first case so these are some of the important points that we need to know in the fatic um, fatic questions that please add something extra to it so that your question will look more and more and more beautiful so in similarly you might be having some of the uh, questions in your mind like the fatic question kind of thing uh, especially uh, the question that you directly ask like uh, where, where where do you stay instead of asking where do you stay you can start a conversation uh, actually i stay nearby here where do you stay so he, this has more impact rather than asking where do you stay where you are also giving an answer to it 
or uh, you know i like uh, strawberry flavored ice cream what about you what do you like this is better than asking like what what which flavor do you like which ice cream flavor do you like so that is the sec- uh, impact of the fatic question that you ask so fatic questions are an important uh, role uh so yes let's start the class give me the answer today's top I, i'm getting the answers for the previous uh, question that i asked okay yes so uh these try to use this words especially well you know actually in your normal conversation uh whenever you are answering so that will be a, a very very good very good conversation between two people so summing up uh, what we have learned today we have learned about why how important listening is आज हमने लिसनिंग के बारे में सीखा क्यों बहुत ज़रूरी है लिसनिंग ऑल्सो हमने वन मोर परसुएजिव कम्युनिकेशन के बारे में सोचा कैसे हम लोगों को बिलीव बिलीव कर करवाते हैं अपने वर्ड से वट आर द सेंटेंसेस लाइक हाउ टू परसुएट पीपल हाउ टू कैसे प्रेर प्रेरक करें लोगों को और फैटिक कम्युनिकेशन स्पेशली द फैटिक क्वेश्चन कैसे क्वेश्चन पूछना है कैसे फैटिक क्वेश्चन पूछना है ताकि जो जनरल क्वेश्चंस हो ताकि कॉन्वर्जेसन आगे बढ़े और आपका जो भी आंसर है वो दूसरों को सुन, सुनने के लिए अच्छा हो तो वैन आई आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन ट्राई टू ऐड सम योर ओन आंसर टू इट दैट विल बी द ब्यूटी एंड दैट 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 विल ऐड ब्यूटी टू द कॉन्वर्जेसन सो थैंक यू फॉर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन टूडेज सेशन सो आई होप यू ऑल एन्जॉयड टूडेज सेशन एंड लेट्स मीट विद वन मोर टॉपिक टूमोरो एंड दिस इज लिखित साइनिंग ऑफ Thank you